Hi, my name is Tabitha Jean Naylor. I am the founder of Successful Startup 101. Uh, the magazine, it's a digital magazine that's available on Amazon, Google Play, iTunes, and it's also available as an interactive online format. The magazine is designed specifically for startup founders and features content that is from experts in their related field in both text, video, and podcast format, which makes it extremely engaging for the end reader. Uh, and it keeps them coming back for more because of the blend of rich media that is involved in the, the publication itself. The magazine focuses on contact, excuse me, content topics ranging from startup finance and accounting to management and marketing. And because of its uh, engaging format, we have seen some pretty impressive growth. Uh, in fact, our August issue saw a 50% increase in subscriber and viewership and a 36% increase in the time spent actually digesting the content within the magazine. Now before you write it off and uh, put it into purgatory with all the other business publications that are out there, think about this. In December 2013, VentureBeat published a report stating that 565,000 new startups launch every month in the United States, which means there's over 12 million new startups and there is absolutely no publication that speaks directly to this target demographic. We've got the inks and the entrepreneurs of the world, but their content runs the gamut and doesn't provide targeted, laser-focused content that's easily digestible for the very overworked and stressed out startup founder. Uh, if you think about the amount of content that's out there, we live in an information overload. 571 new websites are launched every minute and 2 million blog posts go live every day. If you're a startup founder, if you have a question about something like startup finance, if you head to Google and do a search, what are you greeted with? Over 17 million hits. As a startup founder, do you really have the time to go through and sort through even the top 10 articles? If you do, great. You're usually going to find content that's conflicting, it's over, it's outdated, or it just doesn't really make sense for what you're looking for. So Successful Startup 101 cuts through the clutter and provides the information in a single monthly publication that is generated to, uh, to help startup founders the most. And because the content comes from experts in their related field, it's trustworthy, it's current, it's applicable, and it's not based in theory. So. With that being said, the goal for the next 12 months is to hit 50,000 subscribers with the magazine based, uh, spread out across all the different platforms. And uh, I like to think of the magazine as startup knowledge without going to college. <laughs>